Hey guys, geeking to everyone. On this video I'm gonna tell you about sed command in Linux. Sed command in Linux stands for stream editor and it can perform lots of functions on file like searching, find and replace, insertion or deletion. So most common use of sed command in Linux is for substitution or for find and replace. By using set you can edit files even without opening them, which is much quicker way to find and replace something in file than first opening that file in text editor and then changing it. So you can see a syntax of this command on your screen now. Let's check it out how you can use this command in practical way, but before that I want to show you how you can get some information about this command in Linux operational system. First you can use a, a man command to get a manual of command you specified. As you can see, said the stream editor for filtering and transforming text. Also you can find some useful information uh, in this manual included synopsis, description, information about options, etc. So don't hesitate to check this manual out. And second, you can use a help option to get uh, some info, included syntax and information about options as well. Okay, let's clear the terminal on my current working directory. There is a text file. Let's check it out the content inside this file. There is some text data inside this file. Let's run set command regarding this file. Firstly, I wanna say that set command is mostly used to replace the text in the file. So Syntax is like that. Let's type the command and then I'm gonna explain some information about this command. Okay. Uh, by this command I want to replace uh, this button, this word Unix uh, for by another word Linux for this file so in this command uh, S specif specifies for substitution uh, slash is a delimiter uh, Unix is a search pattern and Linux is a replacement string so let's check out how it's gonna work. Okay. Uh, by by the way, by default, uh, the set command replaces the first occurrence of the pattern in each line. Okay. Uh, let's check on the first line how many occurrence of the file Unix you can count. Okay. First second, third, so the third occurrence and as I told you by default set command replace only first occurrence okay on the first occurrence yeah was replaced by another word Linux other occurrence were not replaced and regarding other lines same rule only first occurrence first occurrence and on the last line first occurrence second occurrence and other occurrence were not replaced okay if you want to replace a specific occurrence of the line you can use a a, a special flag i want to show you 
so mostly it's the same okay uh, after last slash you have to specify the number of which occurrence uh, you want to run this command so I'm gonna run this command for second occurrence so press enter as you can see first occurrence of unix was not replaced but second one was replaced so you can specify and on the last line as well first occurrence was not replaced and second one was replaced but you can specify like first one which is the same as default one or like third one whatever you want okay if you want to replace all occurrence you have to use a uh, character G it's this flag uh, this means uh, globally and you globally replaced all occurrence okay as you see all occurrence of Unix word replaced to Linux everywhere okay if you want to replace uh, from specific occurrence okay you can use a uh, the number of specific occurrence you want to start replacing all occurrence gonna be replaced start from third occurrence so first occurrence second occurrence third occurrence replaced so on the second line there is no word unix on the third line first first occurrence only one word and last line first occurrence second occurrence third occurrence fourth occurrence so etc you know starts from third one okay you can specify like from second occurrence or from first occurrence as well okay if you want to replace a string on a specific line you can specify this line for example if you want to only for first line you have to type the command like that press enter so only this command run only for first line as you can see okay by default as I told you it's replaced only first occurrence okay on other lines this command uh, did not run only for first line if you want to specify another line like fourth line yeah you can check yes yeah, first occurrence was replaced okay uh, so if you want to uh, duplicate the replaced line you can use a special flag I want to show you okay let's delete it okay it's a P flag so this uh, this flag prints the replaced line twice on terminal so press enter as you can see second li line there is no uh, word no no this pattern found unix so this line printed out only once other lines where this pattern successfully found print it out twice okay so if you want to print only replaced lines you can use a special 
flag dash n press enter as you can see by this command uh, by using this flag on the output displayed only replaced lines so second line was not uh, displayed because no words on this line other line lines displayed okay if you want to replace string on a range of lines you can specify the range of lines that's cool so I remove P so for example if I want to specify range of line for set command okay it's uh, from first line to third line so press enter so set command run only for this range from first second and third on the fourth line this command didn't run okay so if you want to delete lines from a particular file you can use the set command as well so syntax is like that and the n means a, n a number of particular line so for example if you specify first line press enter okay as you can see you can delete a particular line or second one so you can delete a second line or if you specify this symbol you delete a last line if you want to specify the range of line you want to delete Okay, from first to third. Syntax is like that. Press enter. And on the output you can see only, only left lines. So it's a four, fourth line. Okay. So. Uh, by the way, I want to mention that you did not modify this file. If we check it out the content inside this file, we we can see there is we didn't modify this file by set command. But if you want to modify this file, you can use a, a flag i, you know. And by this, by this flag, you can edit and then save the existing file. Uh, so uh, let's use in this command one more time. This command deleted first line of the file. Okay, and it's a modify using uh, dash i option. This flag. It's a modify this file so press enter so as you can see we deleted a first line it's like that okay thank thanks for watching this video guys I hope you you enjoyed and it, it was a useful for you so don't forget to follow me and leave a comments and like my video if you like it of course so uh, see you ciao ciao